Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can screen mirror your iOS 16 iPhone, any iPhone by the way, to your Samsung known Android TV. Completely free, no lag at all, and it's really simple. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so there's a couple of things we need to do on the iPhone, and I'm going to show you two different ways you can screen mirror your iOS 16 iPhone to your known Android Samsung TV. Completely free, and you don't have to pay or buy any purchase, and you don't have to purchase any app or buy anything, okay? All right, so the first thing you want to do is head over to your settings page. So head over to your settings on your iPhone. Once you're in the settings, head over to your Wi-Fi connection. Now, you have two options here. You can actually use your home Wi-Fi, you can actually use your home Wi-Fi, or you could actually use your mobile data to enable the personal hotspot. You can actually use that as well. So I would recommend use your home Wi-Fi. It's completely free, it's homey, and you don't have to pay or worry about any credit or uh, data plans or anything like that, okay? so. As, this, as you can see right there, my iPhone is connected to my home Wi-Fi and that is pretty much all you have to do. So now what you want to do is head over to the Play Store and I want you to download. All right, so now what you want to do is to head over to the Play Store and I want you to download two different apps. Both works differently and both are completely free. I've been using these both for as long as I remember, okay? So links will be in the description box below. I'm not getting paid by these guys. I genuinely feel like these are one of the best screen mirroring apps you can use to mirror your iPhone to a known Android non Apple Samsung's normal TV. So, okay, so the first one is going to be the iMedia Share right there. Okay, so iMedia Share I have downloaded before, so I cannot download it again, but it is on my iPhone. Okay, so the second app is going to be the be the replica app. There you go. Type in the replica and it should be there. So I, I have both apps on my iPhone, so I don't have to download anything on the iPhone. Okay, so that's pretty much all you have to do on your iPhone. And uh, let's just let's Let's jump to the TV and let's actually do this. All right, so as you can see right there, I got a Samsung non-Android TV and this thing is about eight years old. I'm not even lying, by the way. Okay, so let me just show you the settings. So head over to the menu of your, of your Samsung TV and it's gonna look exactly like this because I, I know for sure there's tons of Samsung TVs, old Samsung TVs having the exact same menu. All right, so now what you wanna do is to head over to your network settings. Now in this case, this is this might not be an Android TV, but it has the uh, network support. So as you can see, it can connect to your Wi-Fi, it can connect to your hotspot or anything like that. So head over to your network settings. Once you're into the network settings, it's gonna, so once you're into the network settings, it's gonna give you multiple options, as you can see right there. That actually on the top is my home Wi-Fi, and as you can see, there's a right tick next to it, that means it is pretty much connected. So my TV is connected to my internet, and if you wanna refresh, you can actually just go to your network settings, go click on the network status, and that will automatically reconnect your TV to your Wi-Fi or personal hotspot. And that's pretty much all you have to do. That's pretty much everything, that's pretty much all you have to do on your, uh, on your Samsung TV. All right, so now, as you can see, my iPhone and my TV are both on the same network, and we have and we have both of the apps. So in this case, we have Replica and we have iMedia Share. First, I'm gonna show you the Replica, which is the easy one. So just click on the Replica and it's gonna list all your TVs that is running on the same network. So as you can see in the middle, that is my Samsung TV. And uh, I don't know if you can see right there, that right there. So that is my Samsung TV and all I have to do is just click on it. It's gonna ask me to purchase the... So once you click on it, so once you click on it, it's gonna give you multiple options, but we what we what we want is basically screen mirroring. So just click on the screen mirroring, and it's gonna ask you to purchase these purchase the app, okay? But if you look at the top right corner, but if you look at the top right corner, you can actually skip the purchase screen. As you can see, it's asking me to buy it. It's asking me to purchase the app, by the way. So you might not think this is free, but it actually is free. So I've been using this app for as long as I actually remember. If you look at the top right corner, there is a escape icon right, right there, right in the top right corner. All you have to do is just press that and it's gonna, it's gonna ask you if you want to ignore the offer, just click on the ignore the offer and that's pretty much it. That is all you have to do. Now, what you wanna do is click on the broadcast. It's gonna take a couple seconds, just wait for it. It's loading. now. It's connected from the it's connected from the iPhone and it's gonna ask you for the permission on the TV. So all you have to do is just click on allow. And that's pretty much it. It's loading in the background. So just give it a couple seconds. Just, just give it a couple seconds, and there you go. It's pretty much connected right now. 
and uh, let me just go back to my home screen. Okay, so since this TV is not Android and it's not smart, so there is a tiny, tiny bit of a lag. Don't worry about it. If you have a better connection, this will this will work much, much better. I'm not even. I'm like. I'm not even. It, this will this will definitely work much much better if you have a better connection i don't have a better connection at the moment that's why it's tiny bit laggy but it's working you can actually you can actually uh you know you can actually take uh, you can actually use your camera if you want to so let me just take a photo you can actually use your camera if you want to you can actually view your photos and if you want to tilt them you can actually do that as well so you can zoom in the photos you can view the photos you can actually view the videos there's a tiny bit of a lag i'm not gonna lie but it, it's working flawlessly, by the way. It is working flawlessly, considering that is not a smart TV, that is a nine years old, simple Samsung TV. So it's working wonders right now, and let me know how it works. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you, okay? All right, so now uh, how you can stop it, if you have the, if you have, if you have the 14 Pro uh, or 14 Pro Max, you can actually click on the Dynamic Island and it's gonna it's gonna give you the stop option. But let's say if you don't have the Dynamic Island, that is okay. What you want to do is to head over to the head over to the Replica app and click on that stop icon right there. Just click on stop and uh, click on the stop broadcast. That's pretty much it. And as you can see, it's it's done. It's pretty much done. And if you want to do again, just click on the click on the TV and start broadcast again. That's pretty much it. That's that's it. So that's app number one. So that's app number one, and let's jump into the app number two. Okay. All right, two. All right, so. All right, so app number two is iMedia Share. Okay, so one of my favorite apps, by the way. It's not exactly like screen mirroring, but it works wonders. Okay. So uh, let me just click on the. Uh, no, I don't want the music music library. Uh, access to all photos. Sure. And that's uh, just give it all the permissions in it's asking. Okay, so it's very simple, very straightforward interface. Okay, so you have two, well, you have four options. You have photos, music, videos, and you have the browsing or local network. So in this case, what this app will do is basically if you click on the photo on your iPhone, it will automatically project the photo or video on your Samsung non Android simple TV, and this will work for literally any any simple TV you have. Okay. So in this case, I'm just gonna go to photos. Let me show you. All right, so I got tons of photos at the moment. Let me uh, let me go to. All right, so let me go to some album. Okay, so in this case, I got I got photos. See, not half of them are not even loaded at the moment. But don't worry about it. It will automatically come uh, come clean. <laughs> so what you want to do is basically click on any photo you like. So let's say I like this photo. And it's gonna ask you for the devices or the TVs that are running on the same network. So in this case, as you can see right there, that's a Samsung. Click on it. And uh, now what it did, what it did basically is once you click on any photo on your iPhone, it's gonna it's gonna project that photo or a video on your on your Samsung TV. So let's just say if I want to swipe to a different photo, it's gonna show up the different photo on the screen. So let's just it's loading on the it's loading on the top and right there. See. So let's just say if on a different photo, right, right there, just give it time and there you go. And uh, let's just say I want a different photo. See, right there. It, it works wonders. And this is probably one of my favorite app. That way you don't have to, it's kind of like private app. So you, you, actually cho you actually choose the photos you want to display on your TV. You don't have to show all the, you know, everything that is on your, uh, on your, on your iPhone. It's really simple, really awesome, and it works wonders. I'm telling you, this you will love this app right now. And as you can see, literally click on any photo and it'll automatically show you. Let me just go back and let's just say I want a, a different photo. Let's say like this, like that one. And uh, it's, it's loading in the background right there. See? Uh, yes, that is actually my photo, okay? But what I'm trying to say is that it works wonders. You can actually listen to music, listen to videos and everything you like. So. Click on any photo and it will project that photo on your on your TV. It's really awesome. And that's pretty much it. And if you want to stop this, you can actually click on that. You can actually click on that. And if you want to stop this, you can actually click on that top right icon. Once you click on that, wait, hold on. So if you want to stop this, you have to click on that top right icon. And it's, as you can see, my TV is connected right there. All you have to do is select iDevice and it's, it's, it's done. It's pretty much done on the TV. As you can see, it's done. That's that's how you stop it. 
Really simple, extremely awesome app. And that's pretty much it for the video. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you, okay? Well, peace out.